En quoi tu président, Le président. Veuillez vous asseoir. Reprise des débats. Before the chamber hands the floor to the defense teams, the floor will first give the, the chamber will first give the floor to Judge Lavergne who wishes to put some questions to the witness. laisser la parole au juge Lavergne qui souhaite poser quelques questions aux témoins. Vous avez la parole, Monsieur le juge. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour, Monsieur le témoin. J'aimerais vous poser quelques Mr. questions de clarification. Like to to Tout d'abord, avant les exécutions que vous avez décrites, est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire si, dans votre souvenir, vous vous souvenez avoir entendu des déclarations sur les Vietnamiens des déclarations faites par des cadres, que ce soit des cadres de votre village ou des cadres de l'unité dans laquelle vous travaillez. Est-ce qu'il y avait un discours Est-ce que vous avez entendu des déclarations concernant les Vietnamiens Non. J'ai une autre question qui est différente. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire si, depuis que les faits se sont produits, les lieux, les bâtiments de la pagode ont changé Et si oui, quels sont les changements qui sont intervenus I don't get your question. Je ne comprends pas. Please repeat it. Veuillez répéter votre question, s'il vous plaît. Non, je, vais, je vais essayer de la simplifier. Est-ce que, par exemple, it. le bâtiment de la pagode instance, est le même que celui qui existait lorsque les exécutions ont eu lieu Same as the building that existed when the executions occurred. Stop. At uh, present, of course, uh, there had been some changes bien, made by the moines there. Euh, les moines ont apporté quelques changements. Est-ce que la pagode qui existe aujourd'hui est la même que la pagode qui existait the pagoda lors des exécutions? Is the pagoda that exists today same as the pagoda that existed at the time of the executions? Yeah. No, it was not the same since non, ce uh, pas pareil. there had been some changes. Il y a eu des changements. Alors, vous dites qu'il y a eu des changements. Est-ce que you la pagode qui existait au moment des exécutions, est-ce qu'elle était plus grande plus petite, ou est-ce qu'elle avait la même taille que la pagode qui existe aujourd'hui Les dimensions sont les mêmes. However, the monks have built other halls and planted some trees which are now fully grown. Donc, par exemple, quand vous parlez de la bibliothèque de la pagode, est-ce que la bibliothèque a aujourd'hui les mêmes dimensions que celles qu'elle avait au moment des exécutions. Le Président, Council Copper, uh, Maître Copper, vous avez la parole. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Just Copper, merci, um, Monsieur le Président. An observation. I, I would appreciate it, uh, Judge Lavergne, if you at least use the word alleged execution uh, instead of execution. Supposé execution plutôt que de dire execution. 
Écoutez, je me réfère à ce que le témoin no, lui-même a dit. Je ne vois pas pourquoi je dirais au témoin qu'il s'agit de supposer exécution alors qu'il n'a pas arrêté de donner un témoignage sur des exécutions. Donc je pense que, il me semble que je suis en droit de parler d'exécution puisque c'est ce que le témoin a lui-même déclaré. Monsieur le témoin, est-ce que vous vous souvenez de la question que je vous ai posée No, I don't. Je ne m'en souviens pas. Alors, je vais vous la reposer. In that case, I will Monsieur put it to you le témoin, est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire si Can les dimensions de la bibliothèque, de la euh, pagode, pagode ont les mêmes dimensions aujourd'hui que celles de la bibliothèque de la pagode au moment today, des exécutions que vous avez décrites the dimensions of the uh, Pagoda Library at the time of the executions you described. The dimension remains the same. However, it has been refurnished. For example, a new uh, repair work on the walls and on the roof. Est-ce qu'à l'époque, il y avait plusieurs bâtiments Est-ce qu'il y, est qu y avait, par exemple, une For maison instance, ou un logement was there a house qui existait à côté de la pagode or dwelling quarters that existed close to the pagoda at the time of the executions Mia. There were some, however, I do not know how many. Mais je ne saurais vous dire combien. Est-ce que vous savez si certaines personnes ont été détenues dans ces autres bâtiments, en dehors de la bibliothèque, ou est-ce que, selon vous, toutes les personnes étaient détenues dans la bibliothèque. Ils étaient tous détenus à cet endroit. Est-ce que, avant ces faits, la Before pagode events, uh, avait abrité des soldats. Ou est-ce que c'était la première fois que des soldiers, soldats venaient dans cette pagode À l'époque, il n'y avait pas de soldats pagoda. postés dans la pagode. Est-ce qu'un changement entre la pagode d'aujourd'hui et la pagode de l'époque ne tient pas au fait que, à l'époque, la clôture qui entourait en partie la pagode était une clôture en bambou The fence on the national road was made out of cement, and the fence to the north, the east, and west were made out of bamboo. Et aujourd'hui, quelle est la situation Est-ce que ce sont les today? mêmes clôtures ou est-ce qu'il y a plus de clôtures en ciment the same fence or are more concrete fences?
answer. I do not know, Your Honor, since I have uh, never been to the pagoda. Depuis l'endroit où vous avez assisté à ce que vous avez décrit, from the place where you witnessed what you described, décrit, that is to say, the executions you described, est-ce que la clôture qui vous séparait de la bibliothèque, de la pagode, était une clôture en ciment was it a ou en bambou fence or was it a bamboo fence? Well, no, 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 no. Réponse. Back then, as I told you, the fence on the national road was made out of the concrete, and then the, the other fences were some part made out of uh, concrete, and some other parts were made out of uh, bamboo. Ciment et pour le reste en bambou. J'ai cru comprendre que les exécutions avaient eu lieu en dehors de la clôture. Est-ce que vous pouvez confirmer cela so can you confirm that? Well, the first time I was at the Réponse, outer compound that is outside to the fence. À Et quand vous étiez à l'extérieur de la clôture, outside, vous avez assisté à des exécutions qui se situaient à l'extérieur de la clôture aussi, ou bien les exécutions ont eu lieu à l'intérieur. Lorsque j'ai assisté was à cela, at the outside compound, outside of the fence, I was walking along the on Long Kong or the well, close to the fence of the pagoda. De la clôture de la pagode. Et ce que vous avez vu, c'est quelque chose que vous avez vu qui était à l'extérieur de la pagode ou à l'intérieur Les exécutions que vous avez décrites, elles se sont produites à l'intérieur ou à l'extérieur I saw it happen at uh, the outside uh, compound, outside of the fence. Donc, de là où vous étiez, so, est-ce que vous pouviez voir la this, bibliothèque could you see the library, de la pagode et est-ce que vous pouviez library, voir les autres bâtiments à l'intérieur de la pagode within the pagoda compound? Answer. It was uh, blocked by the uh, fence. J'ai une dernière question. Vous avez décrit, monsieur, une scène au cours de laquelle les soldats ont éventré une victime pour retirer la vésicule biliaire de celle-ci. Vous étiez à, semble-t-il, à peu près 30-40 mètres de distance. 
Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire so si vous êtes sûr qu'il s'agissait sure de sa vésicule biliaire that et they removed her pourquoi gallbladder or another organ que or, and why? les soldats en ont parlé Est-ce que vous avez vu this? clairement cet euh, organe this organ clearly? Comment vous pouvez être How certain qu'il sure s'agit d'une vésicule biliaire that, uh, they had removed her gallbladder? Answer. At the time I saw she was tortured. There was a body tree close to the Anlong Kong or the well. And uh, the, there was a branch of the body tree. And uh, there was a kerosene lantern. Uh, was used to light the place where I could see clearly from the observation station. Uh, the axe with the size of my two finger could also be seen by me from the, my observation station. Est-ce que cette scène vous a Did this surpris? scene surprise you? Bien, est-ce que vous aviez Or déjà had you already entendu heard about parler de, euh, du fait qu'on pouvait retirer les vésicules biliaires et pour quel usage and, uh, for what use? Answer. I was so scared and terrified when I saw that scene or incident. However, with the presence of an older man with me at the time, I was uh, courageous enough to look at the incident. After they had removed uh, the gallbladder, they uh, took it and Après went close to the edge of the pit prise, where there was a container of alcohol. They dropped uh, the gallbladder inside the alcohol and they stirred it with the uh, stick or the bamboo stick which was used to kill the victims. J'entends bien que vous étiez terrifié, mais est-ce que dans le passé, vous aviez déjà entendu que ce genre de choses s'était pratiqué Est-ce que vous aviez déjà entendu des histoires où on avait retiré la vésicule biliaire de certaines victimes Answer, no, I have never heard of it. Voilà, ma dernière question. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire, Can selon vous, quel âge avaient les soldats, the les personnes qui procédaient aux exécutions que vous avez décrites Answer. I cannot give you the exact estimation from my own eyes. There was one adult at that time, and they were as large as me. And he was as large as me. And uh, the other soldiers were young, and uh, they uh, uh, carried the guns and dragged it on the ground. Et, les laiss- et lorsqu'il les portait, elle traînait à terre. Quand vous dites jeune, When you say young, est-ce que vous voulez dire qu'il s'agissait d'enfants, children, d'adolescents, or teenagers, ou de jeunes adultes or young adults. Answer. To my 
estimates, they were about uh, 14, 16, or 15, and I can say they were adolescents. Et donc, vous avez so vu que ces adolescents avaient du mal à tenir leurs armes Que les armes étaient trop grandes pour eux C'est ce qu'on doit comprendre they were arms, they, the, the weapons were AK rifles, the, the butts uh, were dragging uh, the ground, and they were too small to carry those rifles. Je vous remercie, monsieur, d'avoir répondu à toutes ces questions. Je n'ai pas d'autres questions à poser à monsieur le Président. President, thank you. Now the floor is given to the defense team for Mr. Accused. You may now proceed to first the defense counsel for Mr. Nguyen Chia. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Your Honours, good morning, Mr. Witness. Um, I would like to ask you some questions this morning and a little bit later as well. Um, let me start with following up on the very last question, um, Mr. Witness. Um, you just testified that uh, the very young soldiers that you described were all carrying AK-47s. Is that correct? Were all of them in the possession of AK-47s? Des AK-47. Est-ce que vous pouvez confirmer qu'ils étaient tous en mesure de porter ces armes Ils avaient une fonction qui le leur permettait Answer. They were all armed Ils with AK avec rifles. Fusils AK. And I will, I will get back to that obviously later, but um, so rather than using their AK-47s uh, to kill people, they decided to use bamboo sticks to kill the victims that you described. Is that correct? Answer, yes, that is correct. Okay, I will get back to that later. Uh, you, you just described um, these soldiers as... Uh, Adolescents, young, young um, men, 15, 16 years old. Is it correct that uh, around that time you yourself were roughly 18 or 19 years old? Answer, you are right indeed. And am I also right when I say that um, in April 75, when the Khmer Rouge took over, you were 15 years old? Answer. I cannot recall it well. Um, is it correct when I say that in, if you are 18 or 19 years old in, in 78, you must be 15 in 1975? Answer, right. Did you go to school before uh, April 75? Uh, and if yes, how long did you go to school? Answer. I went to school, but I simply finished, uh, you know, low grades. 
mais je n'ai fait que les petites classes. But, but do you remember how many years of school you had and, and from, from, from what year to what year did you go to school? Jusqu'à quelle année vous êtes allé à l'école? Answer, I cannot recall it, uh, counsel. Let me try it differently. Did you go to school when you were five years old or six years old or maybe seven years old? I started school at uh, eight years old. Do you recall in which year you started school? Question, vous souvenez-vous en quelle année c'était? Lorsque vous avez commencé l'école? Answer, I cannot recall it. Je ne m'en souviens pas. Could it be 1968 then? Or, or another year? Question, se peut-il que ce soit 1968 ou une autre année? Answer. I do not dare to answer it. Réponse. Je n'ose pas répondre. Um, Mr. Witness, can you read or write? Maître Kopol, Monsieur le témoin, pouvez-vous lire, écrire? Answer. Réponse. Almost not. I can only uh, simply, you know, uh, read and write, but very little. Je peux lire et écrire, mais très peu. Um, thank you, uh, Mr. Witness. Do you know uh, the age of Chanta? Quel âge Chanta avait? Answer: No. Réponse: No. Was she about the same age as you, or was she younger, or was she maybe older? Answer. Réponse. From her appearance, from her physical appearance, uh, she perhaps was the same age as me, and uh, perhaps a little bit older or younger than me. Peut-être un tout petit peu plus âgé que moi. Could you estimate for me how old she must have been when you saw her being killed? Question et pourriez-vous me dire à peu près d'après votre estimation quel âge elle avait lorsque vous l'avez vue être ex exécutée? Answer no. Réponse, non. I do not know. Je ne sais pas. Um, is is uh, is Chanta a, a Khmer name or a Vietnamese name? Chanta, est-ce un nom Khmer ou un nom vietnamien Answer. Villagers called her Réponse. Les villageois by the name Chanta. Chanta. Um, but from, from where you are, do you know whether Chanta is a Khmer name? Or rather, a Vietnamese Question, name. Question. Pour vous, est-ce que Chanta c'est un nom Khmer ou vietnamien plutôt? Answer. I have no idea. Je Everyone uh, call her by the name Chanta, so I uh, called Donc her uh, that name, Chanta. Um, Chanta ever show you Question, Chanta, uh, vous something like an identification, uh, maybe an ID or something? Did you ever see anything with her name on it? Un quelconque document qui aurait porté son nom? Answer: No. Réponse: No. Um, you also testified this morning that you, uh, you didn't know her parents. Um, 
Have you ever heard the, the villagers speak about her parents? Have you ever heard the villagers speak about her parents? Answer: No. Uh, I think you also testified that um, Chanta was born in your village and spoke fluently Khmer without um, a Vietnamese accent. Um, do you know for certain that Chanta was Vietnamese? Êtes-vous certain que Chanta était vietnamienne? President, please hold on, Mr. Winnet. You have the floor now, International Deputy Co-Prosecutor. Oui, c'est une objection sur la première partie de la question. Quand l'avocat a dit que le témoin avait dit qu'elle était née dans son village, en fait, si on regarde simplement le procès verbal, on se rend compte qu'il n'est pas né dans ce village-là, qu'il travaille à ce moment-là. Donc peut-être qu'il faudrait clarifier cela. I think, uh, Mr. President, I recall the witness saying yesterday that she was born in, in uh, Cambodia, maybe not in, this, in the village. Let me rephrase my question. Um, Chanta spoke fluently Khmer. Uh, she was born, as I understand, in Cambodia. Um, how did you know for certain she was uh, Vietnamese? The reason that I know for sure that she was Vietnamese because the grandparent, her grandparents were of a Vietnamese origin and a villager also said that a Chanta was a Vietnamese descendant. Regarding a Yeung village uh, where I was living, actually I was uh, born in Kampong So, Kampong Kleang, commune. After a long period, I was sent by my father to live with my aunt in Yeung village. From that time onward, I started to know Janta and villagers in Yeung village. And the grandparents of Janta were of Vietnamese origin. Mr. Um, Witness, when the grandparents of Chanta were born, um, was there a country called Kampuchea, or was there a country called Vietnam? Answer. Sorry, I do not know. Uh, well, assuming for a moment that Chanta is about your age, um, when the grandparents of Chanta were born, did Kampuchea, Cambodia exist? Did Vietnam exist? Do you know? Answer, I do not know. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Indochina? Question, avez-vous jamais entendu parler de l'Indochine? When I was young, I heard of it. Lorsque j'étais jeune, j'en ai entendu parler racontez-moi. And what have you heard of of that name? What, what does that mean? Qu'avez-vous entendu dire à ce propos? Qu'est-ce que ce nom veut dire? Answer. I do not know. Um, let me move on now, uh, Mr. Witness, to, um, to some more questions about Chanta. Is, it, is my understanding correct that the only person uh, you knew who was killed uh, was Chanta, and that you didn't know any of the other Et les uh, autres victims that you described? Vous ne les connaissiez pas. 
Ai-je bien compris Answer. Could you repeat your question? Um, well, yes, of course. Uh, you described um, people being killed. Um, 50 or 70 or, or 600, um, whichever number. Um, was Chanta the only victim that you knew? Uh, the only person that was killed. Was, that, was Chanta the only one that you knew? Answer. I knew clearly one uh, person Réponse, at that time since uh, we have uh, been living, we had been living in the, the same village. I understand, but is my understanding correct when I say that the other people were killed, you didn't know any of them personally. Is that correct? Plutôt les autres personnes qui ont été exécutées, vous ne les connaissiez pas personnellement. I did not know the others. Je ne connaissais pas les autres. Do you know or have you ever heard later why these young soldiers um, took the gallbladder from a girl? Um, have you ever heard why they might have done that? Answer, I do not know on the matter. Have you ever heard that um, doing such things is something done um, by soldiers against other soldiers général, in order to um, receive the strength of these soldiers? Or have you never heard such a thing? Answer. No, I have never heard of it. Do you know why it was that only um, Chanta became the victim of this um, this, this act? Why only she? Pourquoi seulement elle? Answer. I do not know. Um, let me now go back to the event uh, in general that you described. Um, you said that um, the victims at one point in time were asked um, whether they were Chinese or Vietnamese. Is my understanding correct? Answer, yes, that is correct. You also said that um, the soldiers apparently knew beforehand Chanta's name. Um, do you have an explanation as to why they were asking people whether they were Chinese or Vietnamese, but at the same time they knew Chanta? Alors qu'il connaissait le nom de Chanta. No, I did not know about that. Je n'en savais rien. Um, can you explain, question, um, from your observation, as to the reason why the soldiers were asking? Uh, whether the victims were Chinese Pourquoi or Vietnamese, because after all, si they had Vietnamese rounded up all the Vietnamese. Chinoise, Why ask again whether they were Vietnamese Pourquoi or Chinese? Do you know? Si ou que savez -vous? Uh, 
Je ne savais pas pourquoi. Was it your observation at the time that Question. Um, Chinese people look like Vietnamese people? Avez-vous observé à l'époque que les Chinois ressemblaient aux Vietnamiens? C'était la nuit. It was during the Et ce n'était pas aussi... Je n'ai pas, pas vu aussi clairement que j'aurais pu le voir pendant le jour. Um, you said you saw Question. The event together with a friend. Dites que vous étiez accompagné um, d'un ami. Do you know whether he also de cet événement. Heard Those young soldiers ask the victims whether they are entendu, um, si Yun or Chinese, or Vietnamese or Chinese. Gens, ils Yun ou Chinois, ou plutôt Vietnamien ou Chinois. I cannot recall it. Je ne m'en souviens pas. Um, he never heard that question, um, so he testified um, to investigators. investigators. Du moins ce il a Do you dit have a reason? Enquêteur. Do you have an explanation for why your friend who was oui, next to you didn't hear that question? Pourquoi votre ami qui était juste à côté de vous n'a pas entendu cette question? Yeah. It happened so many years ago, and si I cannot recall that. Je ne souviens pas. You said, uh, I believe yesterday, that um, Hier, je pense, vous avez dit after these questions, or after this question was asked to que ait posé um, la question, the victims, victime, that um, two Chinese families um, were not killed because they answered the question tuées, that they were Chinese. Is that correct? Est-ce exact? Yes, that is correct. Réponse. Oui, c'est exact. Um, what happened to them? Have you ever heard anything about them? Que leur est-il arrivé? Have you ever heard stories of uh, them living somewhere uh, after 79 uh, in your village, your village or maybe other villages? Après 79 dans votre village ou dans un autre village? Réponse. No, I don't. Non. Can you describe for me exactly what happened Question. when Où vous me décrire um, précisément ce qui s'est passé Members of these two families uh, were asked the question. Ce qui s'est passé What exactly happened How did that go On a posé la question à ces deux familles. Um, Décrivez l'événement. Who was asking the question Qui posait la question What happened next Que s'est-il passé par la suite When they knew that uh, they were Chinese, they sent them back Chinois, into the uh, pagoda compound. Dans le bâtiment de la pagode. And I uh, did not know uh, what uh, they did there, whether Je they searched for their relatives, uh, related euh, husbands, wives, si or uh, de children. De That's all I know. Mari ou de leurs enfants. C'est tout ce que je sais. But when they Question. said they were Chinese, were they oui, immediately taken Chinois, away from the others? What exactly happened? Que passé? They were Réponse. separated from the rest. Ils ont été séparés du groupe. And the rest Question. saw that separation, like you did. Is that correct? Pu voir qu'ils étaient séparés, tout comme vous. Est-ce exact? They postponed the, the execution. Ils ont 
certaine pause euh, dans les exécutions. What do you mean? They postponed the execution of whom? Que voulez-vous dire euh, qu'ils ont fait une pause ou qu'ils ont reporté l'exécution? L'exécution de qui? They stopped bring, taking the uh, people out from the pagoda. Ils ont they arrêté de faire sortir les gens de those, uh, Chinese, uh, Ils ont people or Chinese members of the family Chinois. away first, and after that they started the killing Et again. Et après, ils ont repris les exécutions. And this is something Question. your friend saw as well. Et votre ami l'a vu aussi. Yes, he Réponse. did. Oui. Question. Difficult question, but do you have question, an explanation as to why he nous doesn't describe in his statement what you just uh, described? Ne pas I mean, dans sa you saw everything together at the same time. Is that correct? Car vous en avez été témoin en même temps, n'est-ce pas? I, I withdraw the question. Je retire um, la question, dit Maître. Um, did you ever, at one point in time, uh, hear anybody ask, are all of you Yoon? Entendu quelqu'un demander, êtes-vous tous des Yoon? Yes, I did. Oui. And when you heard that, what happened next? Et quand euh, vous avez entendu cela, que s'est-il passé par la suite? They did the execution. Réponse. L'exécution. Did you? Question. Hear anybody say no need to ask a lot of questions, kill them quickly so we can go to take a rest? Dire euh, pas besoin de poser de questions, tuer les rapidement pour qu'on puisse aller se reposer. I heard the, uh, them uh, talking among themselves, je but I could not uh, distinguish the statement that you made. The two Chinese families that um, were sent les away, les deux could you see their faces? Avez-vous pu voir leur visage? No, I did not see it uh, that clearly Réponse. because non, I uh, watched what happened from a distance. À une distance de là. Did those young soldiers Question. do anything Et to jeunes soldats fait quoi verify pour, uh, uh, the truthfulness of the answer of La these Chinese families? Or was it enough to just say that they were Chinese? No, Réponse. they did not uh, specify that. No, ils ne l'ont pas précisé. Um, so is my conclusion incorrect that anybody who would have answered the question whether he or she was Chinese with a yes would have been saved? I Réponse. did not know. Je n'en sais rien. Question. Mr. Witness, who Monsieur le témoin. was involved 
in the killing of Chanda. Qui a Who was involved in that act? Can you remember their faces? Souvenez-vous de leurs visages. What? Réponse. No, I don't. Je ne m'en souviens pas. Do you remember how old they looked? Souvenez-vous de quel âge ils devaient avoir? There was a man, and at that time his age was even Et older than my uh, current age. Il était plus and that was the only man there among the, le seul homme the group. Dans le group. Um, I'm not sure if I understand your question, but do you re remember the age of? The soldiers that de were, who were involved uh, in the taking away of the gallbladder, the killing of Chanta, how old did they look? La vésicule biliaire. Quel âge pouvait-il avoir? They were young, they were between 15 to 16 years old, and then uh, there was a man who was uh, rather old, who was in charge of the group. Um, the, the men or the soldiers that were involved in the actual physical killing of Chanta, did they still carry their AK-47 when they killed her? Those who Réponse. did the execution did not uh, carry any gun, and only those uh, onlookers, the uh, soldiers, uh, carried the gun. Qui Could you describe their des clothes? Question. What were they wearing, these uh, soldiers? They Réponse. were wearing uh, black pants and black shirt and a cap. Et une cascade. Did they have any other military gear other than AK-47? Did they have something? Um, where, did they wear something to indicate that they were military? Portait-il quelque chose pour indiquer qu'ils faisaient partie de qu'ils étaient des militaires? They were uh, wearing something belong to a military. Il portait quelque chose de militaire. Were you able to tell um, Question. whether they belonged to the district, to the militia, um, to the sector, were they um, soldiers from somewhere else? Had you ever seen them before? Les aviez-vous déjà vu? Can you be a little more specific, please? Pouvez-vous nous donner plus de précision, s'il vous plaît? I never saw those soldiers before, Je and I uh, did not know from where they came. Je ne savais pas d'où ils venaient. Other than Question. them having AK-47s and, and wearing black pants, um, what make you say that they were soldiers? Qui vous um, fait dire des Is there any other 
thing that you were able to observe to make you say that they were soldiers? In the regime, besides the soldiers, nobody could carry a gun. So if you carried a gun, you were a soldier. You said um, the event happened in November 78. Um, do you know if, there's a war, if there was a war going on inside Democratic Kampuchea? I didn't know that. Je ne le savais pas. Question. Do you know there was a, whether there was a lot of fighting going on just uh, shortly before the Vietnamese came into the country? Beaucoup de combat avant l'arrivée, peu avant l'arrivée des Vietnamiens au pays. No, I did not. Non, je ne le savais pas. Question. Uh, you spoke earlier about a um, about the chairman of Ying Village. J'avais évoqué plus tôt le président du village um, de Ying. Did you see Sai. ever? Did you ever see any of those young soldiers, or maybe their older chief, in the presence of Sai, the um, Ying Village chairman? Did you ever see them together? Du village de Ying, les avez-vous jamais vus ensemble? I did not. Réponse. Non. Question. Did you see these uh, men um, ever again after the events that you described, after the killing of Shanta? Did you ever see them après que vous avez again après walking around in the area? Les avez-vous vu marcher dans cette localité? No, I Réponse. did not. No. You said that um, uh, the pagoda um, was not used um, at that time in any form. Uh, it wasn't used as a prison, for instance, or it wasn't used as a security center. Um, do you know why the soldiers went to this pagoda uh, to kill Chanta and others? No, I uh, did not know. No, je ne le savais pas. Question. Is my understanding correct that um, previously or before the events that you described, the pagoda was used as a sleeping quarter décrit, for your mobile unit? La pagoda servait de d'abri, enfin de lieu d'hébergement pour votre unité mobile. Yes, that Réponse. is true. Oui, c'est exact. And how long have you yourself been sleeping um, in the compound at the pagoda while a member of the mobile unit? Was it for a few months or maybe a few years? Do you recall how, how many nights you have been sleeping at this pagoda? My mobile unit stayed Mon in that pagoda, but I cannot recall how long we stayed there. However, from my recollection, Mais we didn't stay inside the pagoda compound for long, and let all be moved out and camped outside the pagoda. Am I correct Question. when I say that everything that you know about this pagoda, um, 
from the inside, the outside, uh, is primarily based on you and your fellow mobile unit members sleeping there. Sens sont fondés sur le fait que vous et les autres membres de votre unité mobile avez dormi là-bas. Please uh, repeat your question. Veuillez répéter la question. I agree that was a difficult question. Um, you were asked questions about the library for instance just now. Um, you were able to describe the library. Um, are you in a position to describe that library because uh, you have been sleeping for, for a while with your mobile unit members on the compound of the pagoda. Okay. Before I entered and stayed in the pagoda, the library hall remained there. And when I was in the mobile unit, we stayed inside the compound of the pagoda for some days, and then we decided to come outside the pagoda. Um, you know the inside of the pagoda and its buildings because you slept there as a mobile unit member. Is that correct? En tant que membre d'une unité mobile, est-ce exact? Yes, that is correct. Oui, c'est exact. Now, can you describe for me? the period of time there was between you and your mobile unit sleeping on the compound of the pagoda and the executions that you described this morning. Were you still sleeping there when the executions took place or had you left before? The event took place after Les we had left the pagoda. Question. Where were you and your mobile unit members sleeping um, the nights before the executions took place? You were not sleeping anymore at the pagoda, but where were you sleeping? Our mobile unit was instructed to stay in a building to the north of a pagoda, of that pagoda. And do you remember how far north of the pagoda you were staying? It is rather difficult to estimate uh, the distance. However, it is roughly uh, a bit over 200 meters. Plus de 200 meters. Just getting back to my earlier question. Do you remember how long you had been sleeping? in the building north of the pagoda when the killing of Chanta took place? How long were you already there when the killing of Chanta happened? Yes, I remember that it was
Hot jam. Uh, I cannot recall it. Réponse. Je ne m'en souviens pas. Question. Do you know whether the soldiers that you described Savez-vous had si already moved into the pagoda déjà de la in the pagode, day or the days before uh, the killing of Chanta? Chanta? In other words, pour le dire autrement, were the soldiers already sleeping in the pagoda before la you saw the killing of Chanta? Avant l'exécution, avant que vous ayez vu l'exécution de Chanta. Uh, I didn't know about that. Je n'en savais rien. Question. Can you explain why it is that you don't know? Because oui, oui, you were only staying 200 meters away. Vous résidiez um, à quelques 200 mètres de là. And uh, you had been staying in the pagoda before. Et vous étiez dans la pagoda avant. Can you offer an explanation? Oui, vous nous donnez une explication. Because in the morning I went to work. Le matin, je suis allé travailler. Then we uh, stopped for uh, lunch, Et and then we continued pause. working again in the Plutôt afternoon and Le matin, nous allions travailler, nous faisions une pause pour le déjeuner, nous retournions travailler en course, après-midi. Uh, during the working hours, Et we were prohibited travail, from going anywhere freely. De, de nous déplacer librement. Except. Question. Um, for that one particular night, oui, sur cette fois. You, were, uh, you were allowed to walk freely, is that correct? Vous aviez le droit de vous déplacer librement? Est-ce exact? Réponse. During the night that I saw le the so event soir en question unfolded, où j'ai été témoin de l'événement, I actually thought permission to go and visit my home. Um, so it was a coïncidence that you happened to get the night off when Chanta was killed. Is that correct? Vous déplaciez le soir où Chanta a été tué. C'est exact? Of course, at that time, I did not know that the oui, execution would to take place at that pagoda, nor about the gathering of the Vietnamese in that pagoda. And I, I happened to see what happened there when I was on my way to my village. And why was Question. it that Precisely on that day, you asked um, for permission to visit your family. La Do de you remember? Votre Why vous did vous you want to visit your family that day? Votre ce -là? I did not know uh, whether it was a, a, a special day or not, Je but from my recollection, si I thought permission to Donc visit home that day, and when I was on my way, I saw what happened. Et alors que j'étais en chemin, j'ai été témoin de ce qui s'est passé. And is it Question. my understanding that your friend also, que votre ami, precisely on that day, ce même jour -là, asked for leave to visit his family, or did he have another reason to be with you? Question. Question. Um, I don't know if I can answer that question. Uh, it was not my intention to visit with me. He was my best friend, so wherever I went, uh, I would uh, go with him. Donc partout où j'allais, j'allais avec lui. Um, so, Question. when he will come to testify here, um, 
he will also answer like you that exactly on that day he happened to have asked for permission correct Sorry, Council, that's an invitation to speculate. Yes, I agree. I withdraw the question. Um, um, did your friend also ask permission, like you, to visit his family? As the permission, but uh, as I said, we went together. I'm going to a new subject, Mr. President. It's uh, time, I think. President, it is now appropriate for our lunch break. We take a break now and resume at 1.30. Court officer, please assist the witness during the lunch break at the waiting room for witnesses and experts and invite him back into the courtroom at 1.30 this afternoon. Security personnel, you are selected to take Kirsten Korn to the waiting room downstairs and have him returned to attend the proceeding this afternoon before 1.30. The court is now in recess.